Today we will be discussing ASTM F88, which is the standard test method for assessing the seal strength of flexible barrier materials. In previous revisions, the standard offered clear testing instructions for flexible to flexible or semi-rigid packages, such as pouches, but it lacked guidance on conducting tests for trays made of flexible to rigid or semi-rigid materials. The 2023 revision has rectified this gap by providing users with guidance on conducting seal strength testing for trays. So today, first we will look at technique C, performed on trays, followed by technique A with pouches, and finally technique C with pouches. So let's start with technique C with trays. So as you can see, we have a tray that has been attached to a universal tester. Fixtures are used to help keep the tray coaxial with the load cell. In this case, both the top and bottom grips provide support, as well as a steel plate, which is clipped to the tray from behind for the purpose of keeping the tray aligned with the load cell. The exact fixturing needed to keep the tray coaxial will depend on factors such as the weight and geometry of the tray. Tests can be performed at a rate of 8 to 12 inches per minute. The 2023 revision of ASTM F88 includes evidence that the rate within this range is similar, meaning that any rate within this range can be selected. DDL defaults to 11 inches per minute unless otherwise specified. So we will go ahead and initiate the test in which the force will be automatically outputted into a PDF. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, next we will move on to technique A for pouches using the unsupported method. As you can see, we have a representative coupon cut from a pouch uh, with zero support to the seal. And as stated with trays, the test can be performed at a rate of 8 to 12 inches per minute, uh, but DDL will default to 11 inches per minute, unless otherwise specified. And again, data is automatically outputted to a PDF. So we will go ahead and initiate this test so you can see what that looks like. Okay, and now we will move on to technique C with pouches using the alignment plate. And as you can see, we have a representative coupon cut out of a pouch. Uh, but in this case, we are using a rigid alignment plate to support the seal. Uh, so really the difference between this test and the unsupported method is that the more flexible tail is folded 100 degrees over the seal and gripped in the lower grip. In this case, with a poly Tyvek pouch, that is the poly portion. And the test is going to be performed at a rate of 8 to 12 inches per minute. And the data will be outputted automatically into a PDF. So we will go ahead and initiate this test so you can see what that looks like. Okay, thank you all. Um, I hope you found this video to be both instructful and helpful.